Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise God. Well, today is Wednesday, the second day of November 2022. Uh, we thank God for all his help. I want to declare that God's blessings rest upon you today in Jesus' name. We're looking at the topic, experiencing deliverance from God. The Bible says, And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song, in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hands of all his enemies and out of the hands of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Second Samuel chapter 22 verse 1 to 2. Thought for the day, the fear of the Lord is a shield against the visitation of evil. We live in an increasingly wicked world. We live in a world that is characterized by all forms of evil practices. But that's not the news. The news is, no matter how dangerous the world is, and no matter how wicked people have become, we still serve a God who is eternally committed to the preservation and the deliverance of his people. Isn't that awesome? Psalm 23, verse one to six, you want to read all of it when you get back. David was one of those men that confronted more danger and more wickedness than anyone in the Old Testament. He confronted danger, he conquered it, and he was delivered and preserved by God. He faced the lions, the bears, the wild animals. He faced Goliath, the whole of the Philistine army. He faced the Amalekites. He faced Saul, in whose court David was walking. He escaped the swords and the javelin of Saul many times. Everything was calculated for David to die before his time. But David couldn't die an untimely death. He fought 66 battles and he lost none. Now, what is your responsibility to experience deliverance from God? The first is live in the fear of God. The fear of the Lord is a shield against the visitation of evil. Proverbs 19.23 and Job 1.1-3. Read all of it. Secondly, maintain spiritual sensitivity. Spiritual sensitivity is foundation for spiritual security. 1 Kings 22.1-32. Thirdly, avoid the fear of the enemy. Job 3.25-26. Refuse to fear the devil and his plots. Four, watch your utterance. Proverbs 18, 21, be mindful of what you say. And number five, be watchful and prayerful. Matthew 26, 41, be vigilant and pray without ceasing. Number six, refuse to give up. The garment of discouragement and depression is a killer. Never allow it. 1 Samuel 36, read it. Number seven, maintain spiritual covering. Hosea chapter 12 verse 13. There is more to covering than claiming that someone is your pastor. Today, the hand of the Lord is delivering you and your family from every agenda of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember this, the fear of the Lord is a shield against the visitation of evil. I see God's help being released for you in Jesus' name. What's our assignment? Number one, go through the outlined responsibilities needed to experience deliverance from God. And number two, refuse to seek deliverance from agents of the devil, no matter the temptation. And thirdly, make demands on God's hands of deliverance in any area of confrontation in your life. In Jesus' name, praise God. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I ask that your mighty hand of deliverance pulls me out of every satanic plot and agenda against my life, my family, and my destiny in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I'd like to pray with you today. God's responsibility towards you could be limited if you are not his child. You want to have a very solid standing relationship with God. I'd like you to pray this prayer after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, 
thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. I want to wish you a happy birthday today before I stop. And I declare that as your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you. God be gracious unto you. God's help be released upon you in the name of Jesus. I wish you a glorious time, blessed time, an increase in this new year that you are entering in Jesus' name. Happy birthday. God bless you.